How's this for association of ideas, from beer to cockles? At Leon Sea, we cover a typical day in the life of the cockle fisherman. Here, local men have been gathering the Cardium Eduli, to give it its proper name, for generations. When the tide is high, the men go out and maroon themselves on the sand and mud banks until the harvest has been gathered. The men work all the year round, although the cockles are most plentiful in summer, and their most faithful ally is their boat, built specially for the job, although because of the battering they receive on the sandbanks, their life is seldom more than 20 years. It seems amazing that the men can go out day after day, year after year, fetch back vast quantities of cockles and still keep finding them. However, seafood lovers will be relieved to know that the Cardium eduli reproduces prolifically. Experienced cocklers like Frank Axel can save time by probing the seabed with oars as they approach the right spot. The anchor is thrown overboard and from now on they don't relax for a moment. The cockle, believe it or not, has a foot with which he burrows through the sand into a resting place just below the surface. All the men have to do is to rake them in by the basketful. Easy perhaps, but one long race against time, for the tide limits their working time to between two to five hours. When full, the baskets weigh about half a hundred weight each, and on a very good day, a man can collect as many as 40 baskets. So you can imagine the day's yield is usually a rewarding one. Apart from the edible content, the shells are used either for making necklaces or ground up for chicken grit. It's surprising how many of us benefit from the work of the cockle men. <laughs>